Here is the video for solving percent problems. So this video does say at the top solving percent problems using proportions. There is already a video for that for method number one, which is using percent over 100 equals is over of. But we're actually going to try a second method, which is this little triangle pyramid method. Um, it's visual. I think it's a little quicker. Um, but again, whichever method works best for you is the one you are more than welcome to use. All right, so if we look at our first example, it says what is 15% of 30? All right, so let's start by drawing a little triangle. All right, in the bottom left, it says write the percent as a decimal. So if I want to write 15% as a decimal, it's 0.15, and I'm going to fill it into that bottom left section. All right, the next thing I need to look at is what is the other piece of information. It says of 30. Of is always the big whole. Okay, so if you see the word of, the number after it goes in the whole category, that bottom right section. That's all the information we're given, so we're going to put an X in the top. And how this works is that wherever your two numbers are, you multiply across or you divide top to bottom. So because we have two numbers that are across from each other, we can multiply across and we get 4.5. And that's it. Example number two, this time we've got a percentage and then we see is. So let's go ahead and draw our little triangle. 30% as a decimal is 0 0.30 or 0.3. And this time because it says is, the is number goes in the top. Is means part. So 45 goes up top. We don't have any more information, so x has to go in the bottom right. So now we don't we can't multiply across the bottom because we have a variable. So if we have two numbers stacked on top of each other, we divide them. So 45 divided by our decimal 0.3 is equal to 150. All right, our last scenario is where we are not given the percent, we're given the of and the is. So start by drawing our little triangle. If we see of 90, reminder that of is the whole. So bottom left, bottom right is is the part so that goes in the top and then our x is going to be our percent as a decimal so once again we have two numbers and we have on top on the bottom so we divide 18 divided by 90 that gives us 0 0.2 but we have to remember the bottom left section is the percent as a decimal so we can't just write 0.2 and be done we have to change it from a decimal to a percent which means we just multiply by 100 or move the decimal place to to the right which means it is 20 percent all right you are going to move on to the u tries and i will see you in class